All right, let's go ahead and roll. Yep. Let's <laughs> it. Yep. All right, A, B, Mark. What do you think? I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do. Yeah. I can't even believe this. Would you? Nope. Me. that all of the filming that I had done thus far was for some snippets in the tour between, I don't know why I'm holding this pen, between, you know, between interviews, between acts, like just promo for WW. Um, and last week I just found out that I'm actually going to be a part of the show in Denver and I'm going on stage to be given an award by fucking Oprah for I can feel how chat my lips are and I am sorry if it's bothering you and this I don't even know if you can tell but I'm being awarded by Oprah for my ripple my my ripple effect my ability to help inspire other people to live healthier lives. I found that out last week and this week is the week of the show. Not only have I had to keep it quiet, I can't post about it, I can't tell anyone, um, it's gonna be a surprise when the show is live. <sighs> I just haven't been letting myself think about it because when I do, it's when I'm laying in bed. <laughs> so the last couple of nights laying in bed, I start thinking about it. I start thinking about... All of the people who have tried to suppress me. Wow, this is turning into something like... Way different. I think about all the people who tried to suppress me who told me I was too raw, I needed to clean it up. Why do you use so many expl expl uh, la, la. Why do you use so many exclamation points? I lay in bed and I just start thinking about those people who I believed that there was no place for all things that are me, my creativity, my drive, my humor, the way I connect with people on such a informal level. I think about it and then my heart starts racing and then I think about 
everything that Oprah has gone through to get to where she is. And I can't help but think that this is all happening to me because this is just the beginning. This is a moment of supreme destiny for me. And I can't wait to share with all of you and post about it and talk about it and be styled by Oprah's stylist and I, I don't know, I just, I'm having a moment. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I can't focus. I just completely tore up my entire closet and I'm trying to just like fucking find a bra. Like I I can't believe that this is happening and I being at the fitting. So I had my fitting at the Pepsi Center today. It's Friday and tomorrow's the show. Like The girl at Starbucks, I just went through the drive thru It's 6 a.m. She's like, so are you going to work? Why are you up so early? I'm like, girl, I'm going to be interviewed by Oprah. I got to get glam. No pressure, Kat. No pressure. This is just, this is so just. So is there a piece of paper in there saying how cool I am before I come out so everyone knows and all those bags? Oh, absolutely. Okay. so much it was working because it's all about balance about activity about mindset and all goes back actually 57 years ago to a woman who had a vision for her own life and for a game-changing legacy that she left with all of us WW our final stop in Denver meet a social media star who after creating a powerful shift in her own life inspired thousands to do the same Set yourself up for success. That is some good videography right there. And then I'm gonna edit. First piece of advice is think about why you want to do it. I'm Cassidy Sarisa. I live in Denver, Colorado. Woo! Every day, Cassidy Woo! offers her legions of followers the motivation to lead them toward a healthier life. She says her passion for transformation is personal. My relationship with food was very extreme. I would either be all in on a low-carb diet. Or I would be finishing a whole pizza to myself. I gained a bunch of weight in college. I spent so much time thinking about people knowing what size I was in my jeans. People seeing a bad photo of me and looking fat. Cassidy says she struggled to cope with shame. I was embarrassed to admit that I wanted to lose weight. I felt like I just needed to accept that I was a certain size and I didn't feel like I had anyone to talk to around me. Cassidy made the decision to join WW. I just put all of my trust into this program. I tracked everything through my phone, which is in my hand every second of the day. I didn't change my life that much. I'm still having fun. <laughs> like as Oprah says, I'm still eating bread. <laughs> Cassidy would go on to lose 29.2 pounds. When you're able to accomplish something that is your deepest, darkest vulnerability, you kind of look around and you're like, I can do anything. Hello, everybody. 
she decided to start sharing her wellness journey on a page she named <laughs> Cassidy Eats. I'm going to throw together my famous Greek chicken bowls. Cassidy's authenticity struck a chord with people around the world. She says the response was overwhelming. I was trying to fit in to be thin. I was trying to fit in a box to be in the professional world. And I feel like I was hitting my head against all these walls. But then when I just started being myself through Cassidy Eats, the skies have cleared. I just shared that message. The isolation that I felt was kind of silly because everybody wants the same things. So I feel like I've taken it on as like my personal mission to help people make those choices and not feel alone in, in making those choices. So this whole lunch is three points. Hi Cassidy. Hi Cassidy. It's Erica from Instagram. Hey girl, hey. Thank you, Miss Cassidy, uh, for being you. You have inspired me just to live a not only healthy, but just fulfilling life. And I thank you so much for being so open and sharing your journey with everybody. I just got out of the shower. One of my favorite quotes is, without risk, there is no vulnerability. Without vulnerability, there is no community. And I don't even know if this is gonna be good. So I realized that me being vulnerable, if it helped one person. Where are you? Hi. That it was totally worth it. First word people surprised you were using this program. They were. Because they thought it was their grandmother's Weight Watchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the response I get to this day is, I thought that was for my mom and her friends, or I thought that was for my aunts. And I'm like, no, this is the most tech savvy app and option for you. You can be anywhere in the world and scan that food and set yourself up for success. No matter where you are in the world, bread is only two points. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, girl. My big splurge. My big splurge? Well, I mean, bread and pizza and donuts and beer, craft beer. We're in Colorado after all. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Cassidy. So I'm done editing this video and I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm ready to post it. And it's so, I'm like, how do I end? How do I end after walking off stage with Oprah? And I, Honestly, could babble on for days about the takeaways from the entire experience. The show itself, my experience <clears throat> aside, was incredible in my opinion, and I think anyone who was there got a lot out of it. Oprah is incredible. <laughs> like, I mean, the lessons that she talked about and the things that she shared um, were, were great. Um, but I also ran into Karamo, so, I love Karamo, okay? Like <laughs> I have watched him since he was on The Real World years ago. And um, if you're not familiar, he's on Queer Eye. He's the culture kind of guy on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy on Netflix. Um, I recently listened to him on Kat Sadler's podcast too, her Naked Pod, really good. Uh, anyway, who's that? I'm getting a boost delivery tomorrow. Thank God. And I need signatures. <laughs> um, Anyway, I feel like it was very full circle that I sat next to Karamo and I was like near him and just this show was already a lot for me as you saw in the clip, um, the weeks leading up to it. It was really hard to keep that secret, but it was really cool to go on stage and then be contacted by people that I know that were there. Um, they were like, oh my God, like what a surprise, this is crazy. Hello to all the new people that found me through the show. I could sit here and ramble about this all day long, but kind of the, the main takeaway that I'm bringing with me from this experience is seeing Karamo, who has always been a person, not just seeing, meeting, and, and getting the like love that you want from 
one of the fab five when you picture like them loving on you and they're just like yes 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 like he was doing that to me and it was amazing <laughs> um but that and just seeing him be himself has always inspired me to be more myself and i that's just a that's something that i've always taken away from following him <clears throat> and the thing that shocked me as you guys saw when i was like very emotional was i was chosen for this i was given an award for this based on something that had nothing to do with my job like it it had nothing to do with anything but everything that is me and i know that kind of sounds weird but i just it really shook me to my core that i was being chosen for something that was so much me and you know seeing Karamo the experience itself and then like you know meeting Oprah and that whole thing my main takeaway I'm, I'm getting there is just be yourself and I'm really excited to continue to be more my myself than ever and you know of course take you all along with me on this journey One more thing, I'm like, I'm, I'm editing this and trying to post this video right now. But one more thing that I didn't say, yeah, she, <clears throat> everyone asked me what she was like and I didn't even really say that because it's just such a moment of personal growth for me. And just, you know, I'm overwhelmed, clearly. She, excuse me, I'm just like chowing. Yeah, she's amazing. She's everything that you, want her to be and more um i got a chance to meet her backstage for about five minutes before i went on stage with her and she just came back and she just like she knew me because she did the voiceover and she did my video and everyone knew who i was that day which was also really weird to be at a venue like the pepsi center and like i don't know everyone just knew who i was <laughs> and um so she came back and backstage and she just walked right up to me because she knew who I was and grabbed my hand and she was just like, you're so beautiful. Like, I don't know. I, it wasn't, like I didn't black out. Like I thought I was gonna black out. <laughs> and she, it was just normal. I felt like that was exactly where I was supposed to be talking to her and I don't know, we just talked. Like, I, I don't really know if it's to say, you know? like. It was just amazing and she's so kind and I mean meeting her on top of seeing her on stage is is my experience too right her interviews with Gail and just like her storytelling abilities and her ability to lead a crowd and just truly be herself that was amazing too so overall yeah Oprah is amazing <laughs>